Hey guys, I'm Catherine Gattaglia, Senior Lifestyle Editor here at Bustle, and today we are talking about what goes into making the ultimate chili bowl. I'm here with Chef Jeffrey Saad of Food Network and Cooking Channel. Tell us what is going on this table because it smells absolutely incredible. Right? When it smells good, you know it's going to taste good. Yes. Bush's Beans, which I love. As a chef, I like cooking with great ingredients. They did a survey and they wanted to see what Americans think about chili. So what we know for sure is everybody loves chili. The real question is, what do they put on top of it? What do they put in it? And what was mom's recipes, right? Because everyone right. has, 78% of the people said they have a go-to recipe, but like almost 90% of them said, I'd love to try Bush's chili beans or try something different. So this is a chili that is made up of all those things people said they wanted to see. Mustard, cooking wine, barbecue sauce, lime juice. We got balsamic vinegar in here, even maple syrup and cocoa. Wait, that's all in this bowl of chili? All this bowl of chili. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it seems like a pretty basic chili situation going well, on over yeah, here, but it's, it's got, got some magic ingredients. It's got the beautiful color, the beautiful texture, but what's great about chili is if you just take the chili beans and tomato and a little broth, you're gonna have mm -hmm. great chili, right? But you can make it better, I guess. Exactly, it's, it's a bowl that can be super dynamic, and all those flavors by themselves might sound like, what, like you did, right? But together right. you're like, what's in this? And it becomes like a conversation piece as well as a you know soul fulfilling bowl of chili. All right. Well, it's cool to know that there's mustard and cocoa and cooking wine in my chili, but I want to get to the important part, and that is the toppings, right? So we actually took a little peek at your survey, the Bushes survey, about uh -oh. what people like to put on their chili the most. Right. And surprisingly enough, 83% of Americans say they choose cheese. Who doesn't love cheese, right? Who doesn't love cheese? But we also have oyster crackers as a high contender here. We've got sour cream, we've got chips, we've got hot sauce, we've got all kinds of things. So yep. I think that uh, we're going to try a little bit of everything on our, our bowls here and then um, to, to see if it's actually the ultimate chili recipe. I got these uh, these little emoji cards all right. I'm going to help rank and see which which topping is the best on this ultimate chili. So, so why don't we start with what I would call mom's chili, right? Like Great. I grew up with cheese, a little bit of cheese, right? Cheese and, is the best. Oh yeah, who doesn't like cheese? I everything. Creamy, rich, makes it look good, and oyster crackers, right? I think okay. my mom single-handedly put oyster crackers like on the map, because if it was served <laughs> in a bowl at home, we had oyster crackers on Excellent. it. But you know, you can't complain about having a little bit of crunch, right? So do you want to try one at a time? I absolutely try this do first? want to try it. All right, so All right. This, is, this is pretty basic, but yeah. I'm like kind of curious. This isn't going to surprise anybody, right? I don't know. Maybe the, the recipe itself. i got to get a little bit of everything on the spoon here. But see, here's what's exciting, too. People are going to look at it and go, oh, cheese oyster crackers? I know this. Classic. But once they taste the chili, they're going to go, here's what they're going to say, I hope. <laughs> it's really good. Really good. Oh, my gosh. I had no idea that... I, I never could have guessed that all that stuff was in there. Right? Because like no, no one incredible. ingredient jumps out, but they all make it... A better chili, right? Oh my gosh. Okay, so that is going to be very easily a smiley face. We're starting off happy. That's I wish good. I could eat the rest of that bowl, but we've got some other things that we have to get to right now. We're going to finish all of them at some point. 30% mm -hmm. of people said they like some kind of spicy, right? Yes, I love so, spicy. So, you know, we could do some jalapenos. I'm definitely in that camp. Mm -hmm. I love when heat amps up a chili. And by the way, that's what I love about the Bush's chili beans is they're similar to this beautiful chili sauce and you can get mild, medium, or spicy so you can kind of adjust the heat the way you like it. All right, so the hard work is done for you pretty much. Exactly. And then everyone knows this Bottle, right? My you know, favorite bottle on the let's planet. Let's add a zigzag of heat, uh, oh spice gosh. on there and heat. This is a beautiful bowl All of chili. Right. So do you like spicy? I love spicy. The We're about to find the out. We're going to see if the sweat hits let's your forehead see. or not. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Again, got to get a little bit of everything on the spoon. See, that's what I like about condiments, too. Yeah. Like Some people want to stir it all in like you did. Mm -hmm. Others want to just dabble, grab a little bit with each bite, right, and kind of play with it. But it oh makes it a conversation piece. That is amazing. I honestly think we could do a little bit more sriracha if we, yeah. if we really wanted to. Super, super good, and also super spicy. I'm trying to figure out which of my emoji cards are here. There's not ones with sweating. Oh, we got fire. Oh, no, I definitely right, have good. fire, but I think I'm going to also, <laughs> I'm also going to throw in a heart here because that is really spicy and really awesome. Nice. Makes your heart beat faster. Yeah. All right, perfect. Great. So people love crunch, but if you don't want oyster crackers, maybe you want some, you know, Fritos, right? Okay. Yeah. Get or little... Doritos. We've heard of all kinds of uh, Ooh, favorite Doritos ones here that people great. like, right? Or yeah. like Cheetos, maybe spicy hot Cheetos if I'm getting really wild. Exactly. Even as a chef, like, <laughs> I will not steer away from Cheetos, right? All right. right? Give that okay. one a try. And then, of course, the beauty is now you can still add sour cream to this. You can still add chilies to this. I mean, there's no end to the toppings. We've given you, like, an amazing chili base, but now you can play with it and have fun. Also pretty good. Yep. I would love to see some cheese added to this, like you said. Right. Match the toppings a little bit. Yeah, so we get like a little nacho going on top. Yeah, I'm going to give that a smiley face as well. What's the craziest thing you've ever put on a bowl of chili? I'm just curious to know. You know, I'm I definitely have, you know, the, the survey said that 10% of people wanted to try chocolate. 
And it's funny Chocolate? because I love doing cocoa powder in it because mm -hmm. it almost takes it to a Mexican kind of mole place. Mm -hmm. And when you add chilies and all the spices that are in the Bush's chili beans, the chocolate naturally works to make this incredible flavor. But nobody says, oh, there's chocolate in this. They just go, why is it so interesting and rich? My mom, I found out, used to always put peanut butter in her chili when I was little. No and way. I had no idea that she was doing it until I was older and was shocked. But Your mom's a wild one. We, yeah, mom, we work? want you on the development team. because, like, <laughs> But see, that's a great example. Your mom was way ahead of the, of the curve because peanut butter, what does it do? It adds a little natural sweetness. Mm -hmm. adds a little bit of nut, nuttiness. There's yeah, like a famous African stew that puts peanut butter in it. That's like a classic Is thing. It? See, I don't even yeah, know. see, your mom's, well, your mom's good. She knows what she's doing. Well, like, people love sour cream as well, right? Mm -hmm. People do. But what, I can I can agree with that. But sour cream by itself is rich, which is beautiful. The color's right? great. But what I did with this is just add a little bit of lime juice in it. Oh, really? So the acidity well, kind of brings out on. all the flavors of the chili. It like wakes it up. It's mm -hmm. like the uh, lighting the wick on the flavor bomb here. Okay, so we're gonna do a little dollop here. Yeah, we could do a dollop of that. And then just to take it up another notch, you could do just the sour cream, but that looks a little lonely, right? Mm -hmm. So red wine, but first caramelized red onions. Is and this hard to nice do? And sweet, two minutes. Like <laughs> you're just over there like picking what uh, channel the game's on and everything. Okay. The onions are getting caramelized. You add your cooking wine to it. It almost becomes like a red wine chutney. I can't wait to see what you think All of this right. one. All right, this is the most sophisticated right. bowl of chili I hey. think I have probably ever tried. See, that's what happens, right? This is like the adult version. You know, when you <laughs> want to be grown up and have some fancy chili, this is the answer. I've and you can always go back to your oyster crackers. Finally grown up, you guys. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try this fancy right, chili. Yeah. Give that a shot. Let's see. I'm going to have to go back in for seconds on this one. Mmm. Well, that was really good. I kind of want to try a little more of the the cooking wine. Very unusual. Definitely not what I'd be expecting. Right. But you can definitely um, get a little taste of the lime that's happening there. Right. I really like that. I'm already going back for seconds. Uh, that's a good sign. We like this that. This is really good. But every really one fancy, becomes really a completely creative. different bowl of chili, right? Yeah. Very good. Do you, um, have, do you have an adult emoji there? I was going to say, what emoji do I have that I haven't <laughs> used? I want to make sure that they all get some equal airtime here. Um, I think that this is a thumbs up. Is this a thumbs up? Oh, no, these are these are some clapping hands. I think All that's right. what that means. Good. I don't really know. Thank you. We'll take um, that. And we'll do a thumbs up just in case those weren't clapping hands and I got it totally wrong. My <laughs> emoji game isn't quite as strong as it normally is today. <laughs> but as long as your chili game is good. And what I love about the, the Bush's chili beans is these are beans that are similar to that sauce. So you could also take this, add some cheese, microwave it, and have mm -hmm. a killer queso fundido dip. Ooh, that sounds really Mix good. Mix it with a little bit of ground turkey or beef and do like a sloppy joe. So, so you've got some chili hacks here. Yeah, exactly. So are you a big fan? I know we were talking about this a little bit earlier. Are you a big fan of adding everything at once, or do you like having the specific toppings like play one at a time so that you just get some like you know some of the spotlight? You know what I like doing? I like giving people an amazing bowl of chili, and then they get to make it their own. You know, because okay. everyone's going to do something different, and that's what's cool. You know, you're sitting around, you're watching the game, you spread out all these condiments, it looks beautiful, and then you just kind of. But, but to answer your question directly, mm -hmm. I definitely like to put everything I'm gonna like at once, mm -hmm. because then each bite is like, you know, fireworks going off, different right. flavors, it complements the chili. Yeah. How many how many tries did it take you to sort of pin down what this ultimate chili recipe looks like? I think if you're playing around with different ingredients like mustard and cocoa and everything else, it's, you're, it's gonna be an experiment. You're absolutely right. Well, first I call it like the mind tasting <laughs> database, right? You're kind of going through and you're like, I know what these things are gonna taste like together, and all of a sudden the mustard, and I'm like, whoa, maybe not. So right. I added, so I kept backing it off, and you find that perfect balance. It was probably like, you know, several versions. Is there yeah. anything that you absolutely would not put in it? I'm just curious. Wow, that's any, a good question. Any curveballs that you would stay away from? I would just make sure you use good beans, because <laughs> that's you? like the base of the chili. If you got good beans, you're off to a good start. Yep. But you know, that's the funny thing about chili. You could almost get away with most anything. I mean, you could even probably put in peanut butter. You probably could. <laughs> Crazy, I know. <laughs> Well, this is all fantastic. Um, a logistical question for you. Yes. How long can I keep chili in the refrigerator before I got to like kind of worry about my leftover situation? You know, if you talk to my mom, probably <laughs> way too long. Like, yeah, you if know, you look in my refrigerator, yeah. it's probably way too long too. As we know, chili gets better every day, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Like one of your, your coworkers was saying, like they make a great batch and the next day it's even better and they have it. So definitely, you know, several days. But the good news is it will never last that long. You make this chili, <laughs> it's gone by the time the game's half over. So, so it's safe to assume that you're going to have chili on your Super Bowl menu this year? Yeah, guaranteed. Is there anything else? Yeah. I want to know what else is on your mind. What's on your menu? You know, um, 
We'll figure that out. I haven't decided yet. It's a, it's a, well, it's not even a secret. It's always last minute. It's like I wake up and I go, "What sounds good today?" And then mm -hmm. you just start rolling with it. All it's right. got to be finger foods, though. It's got to be fun, something that's you know that's easy to celebrate and communal. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you, Chef Jeffrey. This yeah. has been amazing. I can't wait to eat all of these bowls of chili. It's lunchtime, and I'm super hungry. If you guys have any suggestions about what you'd like to put in your own recipes or what you're planning on serving the Super Bowl, let us know in the comments. And in the meantime, I'm gonna start eating this. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna eat this this cooking wine one. I like this the best. I think. Oh good, I'm yeah, so this glad. Is, this is a new one for me.